What's going on guys? Talk Aston Villa here back for another video and some breaking news coming out of the Villa camp today. Fabian Delph, the little slithery snake that he is, has pulled out a U-turn and is officially heading to Manchester City now on a five-year contract undisclosed fee, which we all know is roughly around eight million pounds, which was in his release clause from last January when he signed that four-year extension. Am I shocked to see this? No, there is no loyalty in football after this, in my opinion. It's absolutely ridiculous. How do you come out and leave your comments below what you think about it, the Delft departure, happy or sad to see him go, like the video and all that stuff. I want to hear your stuff in the comments below, especially on this video. What is loyalty in football anymore? How can you six days ago bring out a statement saying it's all rubbish, I'm never going, I want to lead this football club, get them back to where they belong, and can't wait for the new season, and six days later saying I had enough, I want to leave, I want to go to City and in my opinion, Rod on the bench because he'll be sitting in the reserves on the bench. He's going to be the same role as probably Sinclair or Richards was. You, you think that we would have had two players coming from City that he would have thought, well, that, that, that could be me, bloody freaking hell. That, that could be me. But apparently he doesn't care. It's the money that talks. It, it's ridiculous. And I'll, there'll be comments flashing up here. It's more of a fan reaction video this one. I'm not going to read them out, but you'll see them across the screen. Um, coming up and you can read and interact with those too but it's just what is loyalty these days let's be honest here I'm not gonna sit here and be flabbergasted and angry about it a little frustrated yes but it's one of those things that I'm not surprised I always thought it was gonna happen and it has but let's get in the positive side here let's look at what this gives us and I think everyone was right and I was right in saying that Adrusa Gay was in fact Delph's replacement, or if not, uh, somewhat, I wouldn't say light for light, but it was a replacement. Everyone said he was cleverly his replacement. If that is true, then you'd have to think there's another center mid coming in. We've been linked with a number of center mids over the last week or so, and a lot of people are saying, how are we going to fit that in with Delph in and a gay signing? Well, I guess that's going to say. And there are tweets, I know there'll be a, um, a little thing coming up here if it's not already passed. One lad definitely said it best, saying, you can replace Benteke with $32.5 million. You can't replace Fabian Delph with eight, And that's very, very true. I don't know what we're going to have to do from here, but another center midfielder or center attacking midfielder will have to come in. I know, obviously, Carl's heel will be in the squad. There's no doubt about that, but we need another one now, especially. We need that backup. We need more competition in this middle of the park. So... Who that is, I'm not exactly sure right now. There will be another clear and blue report coming out on probably Monday or Tuesday uh, with some more information of that as I work all weekend. But, wow. I, I'm i not shocked by this. It's one of those things you have to look at in the football side. is a good business. I don't know who set his release clause at $8 million. If Andros Townsend, which I said in the front three earlier today, is worth, with, go check that out obviously, is worth £15 million pounds then why is Delft not 15 to 20 given the English inflation of players? Uh, it, it doesn't really make sense. He goes there. Best luck to him. The new number 18 for Manchester City. They'll probably be dickheads and probably play him against us the two games he play against him. Just to, I can see that happening right now. But it, it's unfortunate, but that gives us around roughly 38 to 40 million to play with here given the money we have to give for Gank for Benteke for the sell-on fee. So I'm interested to see what Sherwood's going to do there. Is he going to splash the cash and get the likes of Austin and Bolo, uh, Townsend, and Finance, the rest of that, Amavi, and stuff like that coming in like next week? Or is he going to blow it all on one player, which I hell hope not. It's not Adebayor. God, I would not want him. It's interesting to say that we've had this speech of fighting for the badge, fighting for the cause for Villa right now, and Delph was the model of that. But he's went against his own word there, and I'm not going to get into any more on the video here, but what are your guys' thoughts on it? Are you happy, mad? How are you feeling? Let me know in the comments below. Was $8 million enough for a release clause? In my opinion, not even close. It should have been at least $15 million, given that he's English. He's an English international. But whatever. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Like all that good stuff, and I will see you guys probably Monday or Tuesday for another video. Talk to you guys later.